the last video, we talked about Laborer's Love in terms of genre, focusing on how it works as a comedy through two modes, the gag-driven cinema of attractions and narrative cinema, with a plot arc ending in boy getting girl. In this video, we'll focus on the theme of creativity, and specifically craftsmanship. Laborer's Love's central character, Carpenter Jung, is an artisan who uses his carpentry skills to solve a problem. Look closer, and we also see an interest in creative filmmaking. This is a film that makes use of trick cinematography to achieve visual special effects that turn a film about a laborer into something playful. So in this video, we'll take a closer look at how both Carpenter Jung and the filmmakers use the tools and tricks of their trades to turn work into play. Laborer's Love is about more than just young love and family ethics. It displays positive images of craftsmanship and exalts the value of creativity, problem solving, and artisanal labor. Carpenter Jung clearly has fun in using the tools and tricks of his trade to work towards achieving a personal desire. In the process, he creates pleasure for us as spectators. Early on, we see Carpenter Jung using his carpentry tools to process fruit. He uses a ruler and a wire to measure the girth of a watermelon and a saw to cut it. He peels sugarcane using a carpenter's plane. These odd behaviors create comic incongruity, but also hint at the qualities that will help Jung triumph later on, resourcefulness and creativity. In the sequence of Jung sawing the melon, one symbolic motif also hides in plain sight, a rather risque one. Split the melon is a Chinese expression for taking a woman's virginity, and the image anticipates Jung's union with the doctor's daughter. The gleeful smile on Jung's face as he splits the melon could be interpreted as indicating not just the joy of labor, but also sexual desire. Pleasurable labor is also on display in the sequences of Jung constructing and using the staircase slide. The rowdy patrons of the all-night club above his bedroom are making it impossible for Jung to sleep with their mahjong playing and brawling. He has a eureka moment and conceives of an invention that will both get back at them and solve his bigger problem of marriage. Prudently, he makes a deal first with his prospective father-in-law before he sets to work in measuring and sawing away in his bedroom. We then see a fast-forward sequence of Jung installing the staircase slide from top to bottom, step by step. Besides generating surprise and amusement, this trick cinematography the fast-forward calls the viewer's attention to the theme of labor, which appears in the film's title. It highlights two types of labor at once, the carpenters and the filmmakers. A cut back to normal speed then takes us behind the staircase, where we see Jung testing out his contraption before putting it to use. The shot gives us a behind-the-scenes perspective, from which we get to see the labor that an artisan uses to take others for a ride, for both fun and profit. This sequence reminds us that some tricks of the trade in Laborer's Love are created not by a character, but by the filmmakers. It's not the first special effect in the film, though. This appears when Carpenter Jung is in his room daydreaming of himself together with Miss Zhu. He also then daydreams of her father, which wipes the smile off his face. His mental image is represented in the top left part of the screen through trick cinematography. This is called a matte shot, and the filmmakers created it by shooting two images and combining them in a laboratory after filming. The double moving image is a cinematic version of a type of novelty photograph that had existed since the late 19th century. In cities around the world, you could go into a photography studio and purchase an image of yourself interacting with a double or triple or some other multiple of yourself, thanks to the magic of multiple exposure photography. In early 20th century China, you could, for example, pose pouring yourself tea, or playing chess with yourself, or driving yourself in a car. This genre of photograph was known in China as the split self photograph, the fen shen xiang, or the two mi's photo, er wo tu, and it often involved the subject assuming multiple identities, a type of fantasy role play. One of the two mi's photos in Laborer's Love shows current Jung imagining future Jung, and in his case, the fantasy comes true. 
The other notable cinematic trick in this film is the fast-forward sequence in Dr. Ju's office, in which the progression of patients builds toward two final medical treatments involving stretching and hammering human beings. The fast-forward here recalls the staircase slide construction sequence, as well as the subsequent images of victims sliding to their doom. This repeated use of fast-forward also turns trick cinematography itself into a motif. The treatment scene in the doctor's clinic establishes another motif as well, the theme of treating people not as people or patients, but as products. The staircase slide is a disassembly line that breaks them. The jerky assembly line in Dr. Ju's office puts them back together again. Film historians have pointed out that Labor's love's representations of playfulness and work as play may be regarded not just as themes, but as an artistic disposition. At a metaphorical level, Carpenter Jung may be taken as analogous to the filmmaker, who treats the camera as both a tool and a toy, who generates pleasure both for himself and his viewers, and who profits by doing so. A filmmaker, like any other artisan, knows how to look at raw materials in a certain way and how to use tools to craft them into a work. A film that might appear to be simply a silly comedy also contains a self-affirmation of the value of filmmaking as a cultural labor of love. As if to underscore the parallel, screenwriter Zheng Zhengqiu, who appears in the role of Dr. Zhu, in real life also wore the Lloyd-style glasses that both Carpenter Zheng, who has the same surname, and Zhu wear in the film. You'll have noticed that the film's intertitles are in both Chinese and English. This film was made for a bilingual or export market. If you know both languages, you might have also noticed that the filmmakers even added jokes in English that don't appear in the Chinese. For example, when a drunk patron of the all-night club standing at the top of the slide staircase exclaims, I feel so good I could fly. You'll definitely have noticed that the surviving print of Labor's Love is imperfect. The margins are cut off, resulting in somewhat stunted framing. There is clearly damage to the celluloid, which occasionally occludes the image that we see. And there are also some frames missing, making for kind of jerky pacing in some of the sequences, as with, for example, the opening intertitle. The credits are missing. Uh, there are other imperfections, however, that are attributable not to historical loss, but to the limitations of the filmmaker's budget or skill. The slide, for example, does not convert back to a staircase smoothly. At the beginning of one shot, the actors pause before starting to climb the stairs towards the door of the all-night club, one of several editing errors in the film, a moment at which one can virtually hear the director calling out, Action! Dozens of comic shorts were made in China up to the 1920s, but Labor is one of the few that still exists to give us an impression of the era's filmmaking. Some of its motifs reappear in later Chinese films. These include staircases, which are used to comic effect in Sports Queen from 1934 and Wanderings of Three Hairs the Orphan from 1949. Another is urban working class or underclass people who feature in many socially progressive films of the 1930s. But in those films, some of which we'll look at in this course, the tone has changed from comedy to tragic comedy. What distinguishes Laborer's Love from many of these later films is not just its shorter length, more rudimentary technological accomplishment, or its greater emphasis on humor. It also expresses a different aesthetic, a can-do charisma. When a carpenter becomes a fruit seller, or a fruit seller a doctor, or a dramatist a filmmaker, the process is aided by an amateur's embrace of experimentation. Labor's love displays labor as a playful and pleasurable process, and it praises the ingenuity and resourcefulness of those with little means who can still get things done.